So this question comes from Doug S. I watched your show about Tor and enjoyed it. What do you think about using Tails software on a thumb drive that ends up using the Tor network? I realize it will still have the same Tor issues you mentioned, but it uses the thumb drive and sounds like it is a step that keep, keeps things off your computer. So if we go over to the computer for a second, I'll just uh, show you the web page for it. If you're interested in Tails, basically what Tails is, is Tails is a live operating system, so you can boot this thing off of a DVD or a USB stick and it routes all of your data through the Tor network. So basically it's the equivalent of a Linux live CD just uh, it's built to just completely use the Tor network um, so you don't have to worry about things like DNS or supposedly you don't have to worry about things like DNS leakage or any of that kind of stuff. So the question is then you guys know I am not a Tor fan uh, by any stretch of the imagination. One I just find it a pain in the butt to use Tor and to, I just don't believe it. I just don't believe it. It's like, <laughs> there is no privacy on the internet. There is no anonymity on the internet. Um, it just, it just, just functionally, the internet just functionally doesn't work that way. So I, I, I would argue that anybody that says that you can be anonymous online is blowing smoke up your ass. I mean, it just, it just functionally, it's just functionally not built. Um, so, you know, basically with the, the uh, with the Tor, one of the issues with Tor, which is very interesting, is that even if you use Tor uh, to go onto the internet and look at whatever websites you want to look at, one of the interesting things uh, the intelligence agencies and some of these, these agencies have been able to do is what they'll do is they'll compromise the Tor web servers. So Tor services is basically a Tor-based website. They'll compromise one of those servers so that when you go to that server, even though you're using the Tor network, you can still download malware uh, that will infect your computer with some kind of spyware. Well, this is NSA grade or KGB grade or whatever spyware. And the idea is, so you go and you're doing whatever you're doing on the Tor network, and then it's logging that information locally. And then what happens is when you drop off the Tor network, it will then beacon out to those agencies uh, and say exactly who you are uh, and where you've been, so on and so forth. So this is one of those things a lot of people don't think think about. You know, when we're dealing with security, security is an over it's a large topic. There are a lot of things to deal with. Uh, not only is it about encryption, not only is it about hiding your IP address, but it's also things like preventing software from being installed on your computer. There's also something called, like I say, DNS leaking I talked about before. Um, there, there's all of the, the, these other issues. And so one of the things is, again, is basically compromising your computer through malware and then fun ensues. So the idea then is you come up with a, uh, a live CD such as Tails. The the benefit about using something like a live CD such as Tails is that they can configure it, uh, pre-configured, to make sure that there is no leakage, right? So, uh, so with DNS leakage, basically this is a very interesting thing with the Tor network that can happen, is all of your internet traffic uh, gets routed over the Tor network. Um, but there's DNS leakage, and what happens with DNS leakage is when you do a DNS query, it goes out locally. So you're at your computer, you go to CNN.com or KittyPorn.com, what happens is your computer accesses your normal ISP DNS, gets the information, and then when you actually go to the website, that goes over the Tor network. So you get what's called DNS leakage. So if anybody is reading that DNS traffic, they can see all the websites you're going to. Every t every time a, 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 a website has to be resolved to an IP address, they can see what it's resolving to, and that can be incriminating. Um, so basically, by using something like Tails, a live CD, you can try to prevent that by massively configuring uh, the uh, the live CD to, to not allow that kind of stuff to happen. The issue is though, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Basically, the only time I would use Tails, I mean, in, in complete honesty, is um, if I was going over to like use a friend's computer or I went into the office and I used the person besides me's computer to do something because even even when you're using Tails, even when you're using that live CD, and even when theoretically you can't get any malware or viruses on there, I don't believe that that the the, the data and all that can't be tracked. Um, 
there's this whole thing with the NSA and these other intelligence agencies uh, being able to compromise things like the exit nodes and the entrance nodes. And there, there's this very interesting idea where if these intelligence agencies can compromise enough nodes uh, on the Tor network, that they can compromise both your, your, your entrance node and your exit node, which means they can re... On your exit node, they can essentially do a man-in-the-middle attack to see all the data that's getting pulled into that exit node. And then if they're reading all the data that goes into the exit node and they control enough nodes, they can then match and they can see the data flow from what's going in the exit node to what's coming out the entrance node. And so they can then match and they can say, okay, we know that this exit node and this ex entrance node correspond. We know the IP address that's connecting to this entrance node is here. So we can then match that IP address to this entrance node to this exit node. And now we see all the data going back and forth, right? Um, so, so again, you're not getting compromised by malware, but you are getting compromised. Again, the, the Tor network doesn't make a damn bit of sense. It really, like, I know it's cute. I know you want it to. Um, but, yeah, I, w I wouldn't. And the, the, the only way... The only way I would use something like Tails is if I was really worried about it. Maybe, like... Um, uh, if I was if I was traveling around the world and I was doing something a little weird and I went into like an internet cafe, I may boot off of tails in order to do what I'm doing just to give me a little bit uh, added protection so that the local computer wasn't spying on me and the local data communication wasn't spying on me. Um, but as far as like nation state players and, and, and trying to keep your, uh, be anonymous from any of the big guys, yeah, it's better. Tail Tails is better than having Tor simply installed on your computer. It's better, but not good. <laughs> better, but not good is what I would say. Just, just, Tor doesn't make sense. Like, I just wish I could bang that into people's heads. Functionally, if you sit down with it, Tor doesn't make sense when you figure that nation state actors are, are trying to um, trying to attack it. It really just functionally doesn't at the end of the day, no matter no matter how you package it.